Hello everyone, today's lesson is keys and scales. In this lesson we are looking to increase our musical literacy and give us the first set of tools to understanding how keys and scales work. Our musical world is made up of 12 unique notes that are one half step away from each other. A half step is the distance between one fret on the guitar or one key in the piano. In this video, it's going to be an adjacent sticky note. They are A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp. As we reach the end of the 12 notes written, we start back over at the beginning. So after G sharp, we would end up back at A in the next octave. If we were to go backwards from A, we would end up at G sharp. It's a never ending continuum of notes. For the purposes of this video, we're only speaking in sharps, which raise the sound of a note by one half step, like this. There will be a follow up video for flats, which lower the sound of a pitch by one half step. Look for that link in the description. As you can see, there are two notes that don't have sharps. They are B and E. Although B and E don't have sharps in this list, there is a time when we will be playing a C and calling it a B sharp, and times when we will be playing an F and calling it an E sharp. When the same note has two names, this is called an enharmonic. Keys have a loose definition of being the tonal center of a piece of music. In music theory, the key of a piece is the group of pitches or scale that forms the basis of a musical composition in Western music. There's a rich history of how we came to this point, but keys are talked about and conceptualized in groups of seven notes. These are called intervals. An interval is the distance between any two notes. These are given the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. There's a distinct formula I want you to be aware of. It goes whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. A whole step equals two frets in the guitar or two keys in the piano, and a half step represents one fret in the guitar or one key in the piano. All Western music is founded on and subject to this formula, so it's best to learn these keys and scales associated, internalize them, and make use of them in our own musical world. Here is how we will build our list of keys. We will start with the key of C, as it has no flats or sharps. That's going to go C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Starting on C, we move a whole step, two sticky notes, to D. From D, we move another whole step to E. From E, we move a half step, one sticky note, to F. From F, we move a whole step to G. From G, we move a whole step to A. From A, we move a whole step to B. And from B, we move a half step to C. And the scale is complete. The fifth note of our key is the next key that we will learn, as it only changes by one note from the last key. Starting on G, we move a whole step to A. From A, we move a whole step to B. From B, we move a half step to C. From C, we move a whole step to D. From D, we move a whole step to E. From E, we move a whole step to F sharp. From F sharp, we move a half step to G. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. The rest of the keys follow this pattern, of the fifth being the new key and the seventh gaining the new sharp. Just like we did before, our new key is gonna be the fifth of the previous key. This happens to be D. Because F is sharp in our previous key, it carries forward. Key of D. D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. D's fifth is A. Moving forward, both F and C are now sharp. Key of A. A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. A's fifth is E. E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, E. E's fifth is B. B, C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B. B's fifth is F sharp. F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B, C sharp, D sharp, E sharp, F sharp. F sharp's fifth is C sharp. This one is easy because every single note is sharp. C sharp, D sharp, E sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B sharp, C sharp. There are a number of observations I want you to be aware of. For instance, every key contains seven notes. All letters, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G are represented. As you progress, these notes gain sharps, which is why we end up calling C B sharp and F E sharp. You cannot repeat a note. There will be no keys that contain both C and C sharp, or D and D sharp, or F and F sharp. When a note becomes sharp, it remains that way. There's a distinct order of sharps that I also would like you to be aware of. F, C, G, D, A, E, and B. This saying is actually gonna be very helpful for you when we learn flats, so learn this phrase. Father Charles goes down and ends battle. That phrase will become important in the next lesson as well, so make sure you remember that. Memorizing these keys and scales will aid in your musical literacy. They offer you a meaningful and practical approach to understanding how the musical world operates around you. Even though this is just an explanation from a major understanding, this fundamental concept gives you insight to the vast world of harmony that awaits you. So what do we do now? Drills. 
Memorize your musical alphabet. Say it forwards and backwards. Write it on scrap paper. Read it out loud. Flashcard drills. Write the name of a key on a flashcard and the sequence of notes on the other. Practice them over and over. Make new ones. Practice again. Audio flashcards. I recorded myself saying the keys forwards and backwards when I was really drilling this. I would listen to repeat on my car. D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. D, C sharp, B, A, G, F sharp, I'd oftentimes put it on random and quiz myself. The sooner you learn these, the better off you'll be. This isn't the fun, instantly rewarding portion of your musical education. But if understanding a musical literacy is your aim, this is necessary. Hey everybody, thank you so much for checking out my channel. Uh, please subscribe, uh, check out some other videos I have links to. If you enjoy this content and want to see more of it and make sure that it gets out regularly, please check out my Patreon page. Uh, there'll be a link in the description. If you have any questions, uh, please post them down in the comments. And until then, uh, keep on picking.